Speak English, you son of a bitch! Stop running away from me then! If you want to fight, fight! Oh, no, no, no. You're so fucking evil! Goddamn prick! Ah, oh, my fists are really doing some damage to him. When the rockets were barely even, like, a bother. Where did it go wrong for you, Liquid? I mean, even before you met Big Boss, you were just a prick. How did you set this all up? I mean, you would have to have taken Mera up here. You would have to have found the bomb from somewhere. It's such a fucking dumb thing to do. Do I have any rations? No, I don't. Oh shit, this is an actual proper fight. Wow, nice shot. It's a nice thing my codec turned into a timer. Oh fuck. Imagine if there was like six clones they had to fight in this one little space. That'd be hilarious. Oh, you're getting your ass handed to you there, Liquid, my boy. Oh, oh. Just a little bit more. Oh, such a manly ending. Ooh, you're just a punching bag right now. No wonder Father liked you second best. Nah, he didn't even like you third best. Dee Dee was more of a love than you were. Yeah, fuck. Oh, oh, come on. No way. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Get him! Yes! Yes! Ah! Now, there's no way he can possibly survive. It's not like he survived a Hind D explosion and a Metal Gear being destroyed. I'm sure he's dead. That's the last we've seen of him! Yuck, yuck, yuck. Now, if you hadn't been able to survive the torture from Ocelot, she'd be dead right here. I think she actually has blood in her, so you'll be able to tell. David Hayter's acting when Meryl is dead is, is fucking phenomenal. And then Snake. Otacon comes, he's like, Snake, we have to go. God. Wow, she's she's really gotten over her, you know, Meryl, inhibitions you and okay? shyness. Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl. You're crushing my balls. It's been terrible. Get your knee off them. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Getting shot wasn't that bad. Didn't give in to the torture. Yay! Me neither. It was pretty hard on the, on the, on the thumb. Things even worse than that? I was fighting too. What's worse than torture? Like you. Torture's like the worst You're thing. Strong woman. Fighting them. Did they make you watch the Big Bang I Theory? I feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. I felt like it you were somehow me. inside me, Snake. Is there any other way to make you feel it. inside me? I'm sorry. Don't say that. Yeah. But it made me realize. I should say you're welcome. <laughs> during all the pain and shame. There was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. What was that? And that hope... kept me alive. Snake... I wanted... To be your wife. To see you again. Oh, just to see me. Just no. to see me? That brought you through the torture and all that? Wow. That's my Kodak. Somehow you can hear it too, even though nobody else should Snake, be able to hear it. It's me. Hey, buddy. Good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her. Well done. Your girlfriend Good lives, job. Snake. My girlfriend got That's shot in the face outside. Too. In we're fact, you shot her. Robbed. Can you stop shooting oh, my boy. girlfriend, Snake, please? I guess we're considered expendable. Is there we a really are. Here? A way out? Uh, yeah, it's like yeah. a fucking exit. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. Sounds good. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. Shut up, nerd. I've already got it. No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I'm just gonna stay here and die. I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking wow, the security Otacon. doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. Even if it wasn't surface-piercing, I would not want to be underground when a nuke loss, goes off you know? overhead. That would be pretty Snake. fucking disturbing. I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. What, what, what's your reason? On me. Not to, to build any more death machines? Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks? Yeah, that's all. Bye. That sounds <laughs> nice. I believe in you. Thanks. That sounds nicer too, Snake. Can you say something even nicer? Like, I have great eyes. Out of here. What about him? Who? Liquid? He's dead. Where's Otacon? He's... He's... 
fighting right now. Yeah, he's fighting. He's, he's a pretty self. big badass. Yeah, he actually he wanted to stay. He wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. How do we get down from here? I don't even know how we get up here. Careful. Follow me, Meryl! Meryl. What the fuck? What the fuck? Did you just cannonball into my arms? Snake. How the hell did I even catch her? She wouldn't be light. Fucking crazy lady. And there is where Metal Gear X will stay for quite a few years. Yeah, you are heavy. I wish you hadn't jumped off it like that and nearly broke my arms. Too bad. <laughs> Shut up, Meryl. You're such a girl. For God's sake. You tried to. Well, you wanted to be a soldier, but you're the most feminine woman in anything. No, I don't. Why would I need clothes? It just happens to be over there, Snake. I don't know why Liquid took it off me. That crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> no, Meryl, don't leave me. Hurry. Where'd you find that? Where did you find that? Mm, looking good, Snake. Will you stop it, Mel? For God's sakes. She is such... She's the most... She. I'll just say, she's so submissive it hurts. It, she is. Like, the oh. veneer of pretending to be strong is just dropped off her. She f looks like a character out of Dino Crisis right now. Really bad. Oh. I wish... I wish we had games as good as Dino Crisis. Oh no! Oh no, a security camera, so? So what? Oh shit! Wait a minute, where the fuck? No! Okay, I'm gonna just... I guess I'm killing these people. Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Meryl, if you could get that started, I'd be really happy. I'm cracking all these guys in there. Hold on! This guy deserved it. Oh! Meryl, Meryl, Meryl. Please, start the car. Oh wait, I should have gotten the turret. That would be that would have been a lot more smarter. To use the gun turret. Snake, hold on. Oh, yes! What a great finale. Speed chase. No, guys! Of course we'll make it. I do I have a ration? Yes I do. Hold on. Let me equip this shit. Go, Meryl. Yeah! Why don't you shoot her? Shoot her! Dun 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 dun. Who the fuck? Not yet. Are you shitting me? It's not, over not yet, Snake, dear brother of mine, oh buddy boy! It kind of is liquid. You shouldn't even be alive. You said if I fell off that Metal Gear that I would have died, so you should be dead. That's right! No, I'm the third liquid. You actually killed the other two. Imagine if there was actually several liquids. So, like, we killed the first one in the Hind D, and then we killed the second one in the Metal Gear, and then the third one was the one who fell off the Metal Gear, and this is the fourth one. That would be great, wouldn't it be? It was like, that was all of them. Oh, look at this! This is fucking cool! Oh my god, get him, get him, get him! I'm shooting right at him! It's not my fault the bullets won't hit him! Fucker, Meryl, speed up! We've got the same car, how is he going faster? Meryl! Oh god, you've knocked Meryl out! I have no health here! Well done, Meryl! Ugh, great driving. The evil twin brother is a clone? It's more likely than you think. Okay, I think this is where I died. Here we go! Oh, wow, this is fucking amazing! It's liquid, you're kind of leaving yourself wide open to attack here. Seriously. You're an idiot. Maybe if you hadn't killed off your entire teammates by letting them die to me, you would actually have somebody to shoot on the back of that gun right now. Meryl, drive into him! Lady! Come on, Meryl. You've got one job. Come on! I'm shooting right at him. What do you want me to do? I'm shooting right at him, but he's got invincibility frames. Oh, like fucking me. daylight. I love that film. Oh no, no! Crazy pileup. I don't know why his car was going faster. I think Meryl was just being a bit of a wuss when it comes to putting her foot down on the pedal. Uh oh. In in real life, you know, people would be mangled horribly right now, but well, we're, we're all fine, I'm sure. And it's daylight! It's crazy to think this entire game takes place over like one evening, like one Meryl. night time. And yet it feels so sweeping okay? and epic, despite that. Yeah, just a little shook up. I can't feel my legs, Meryl. Can you move? 
Uh, I can't move, I, Mel. It's no good. I can't well, then we're move. fucked. What it looks like you can. Hopefully, he fell off the cliff and died. I can't see him either. Surely, he can't be alive again, right? I mean, but he's like died dead. like four or five times. No, Snake Boy, you spoke too soon, son of a bitch. Snake. I've come for you. I've turned from British into really British. <laughs> you kill. Why do you have to fucking aim? Just, just point in the direction. You don't have to aim like that. Fuck. Dire. Beanies, beanies, beanies. He shouldn't have had that last Twinkie. It's a real killer, killer, killer. <laughs> See, this part's terrifying because Liquid's died, and Liquid said that if Fox died, it affected. Oh no, what? Fucking die already! If, Li if Fox die affects him, and we're in the same genetic level, then technically. it should affect Snake. If he's dead, that means. And you're just sort of don't waiting for it. it snake. If you don't say it, it won't happen. Don't say diabetes! Oh shit! Ah. Air raid. No stealth bombers in sight. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Even if we did get out of the base, wouldn't we still get snake, cool, killed by a nuke anyway? I mean, Colonel, just because we're out of the base okay? doesn't mean we'd escape a nuke. Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Yay! Early retirement. That's what they call getting get shot in the head. With the president. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. Oh, thank you, Solidus. Acting alone. acting alone. What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F 117s and the B 2 Spirits have returned to the base. Good. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. Well, you didn't really have complete authority to begin Washington with. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. Yeah, that was a bit extreme. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Man's Go to your gone. deathbed and really? know that we did well. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thank Their conversation, if Snake. Meryl is dead, is pretty heartbreaking. And I, I think act, it's actually the you. moment where Colonel it's reveals okay, that Colonel. he is Meryl's Snake. father. Yeah, he's actually Colonel. not Meryl's Colonel. uncle. Oh, he's her right. father. I I've don't know if Meryl knows that at the point yet. There's at this point now. Close to you. Saw it on the That's why he photos. cares about her so much. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. The I think the story the goes that the Colonel slept with his brother's alive. wife, Me and that's how Meryl came about, which is pretty fucking... Here. That's not no really cool. Well, it you is kind of, but no, it's not really. But it is kind of. The ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Fox Dr. Island? Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I wish Shadow Moses existed in real in. life. I understand. Leave it to me. Like the actual okay. island. Boy. I really do. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy Naked of pictures. all Mei-Ling's data. Oh! As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei-Ling will be fine. Yes! The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. What? I guess we won't meet again. The battery on the Don't nanomachines? How, the, how could the battery... How could the nanomachines really? in your bodies have batteries? I look forward to that. What are you talking about? Boy, just... Tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. Fuck she Meryl. I'm talking about me. Programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. Well, How is that's she? nice of her. Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Thank you. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. You did? I'm sorry. How? How? Wait a minute. How but could you hear about your brother? Message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him, and to go on with your own life. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you killed your parents. Frankie. <laughs> Frankie? Yeah. Don't call Frankie your he Frankie. Said he'll always love you. Yeah. Naomi. He also said I was the best warrior. You I was the number one, and he could never beat me. World. Yeah. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. He also said you and I should probably Maybe. get together sometime. With Meryl and Mei Ling. Maybe not. He's fine. And you know, just work out our differences in bed. 
it was the only way. He wasn't really your brother to begin with. Since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> oh, okay. Stop. No, don't. No, no. Okay. Oh, no. Don't. Huh? <laughs> this is awkward for me. Naomi. Liquid died from Fox Die too. Am I gonna die? What about me? Tell me. When am I gonna go? Tell me. That's up to you. What do you mean? No, it's not up to me. You programmed it. Everybody dies when their time is up. Don't take the piss. Yeah. So when's mine up? You coded it into the fucking is virus. It to you how you use the time left to you? No, that's not an answer. That's a non-answer. Tell me you when I'm gonna speak. die. That's all I can say to you. I thought this was really shitty of her. Like, yeah, Snake's non reply there is like, what the fuck? You programmed it to kill me. You must know how or when it could kill me. So tell me. Because I might be having fucking, like, martinis with fucking Meryl in bed, and then I suddenly go, Fucks. Die. It would be so hilarious. They're, they're going at it, and Snake goes, Fuck. And then Meryl goes, Die? I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Wait a minute. So Where I Naomi told me all that while Meryl just sat there and waited. I thought that if I analyzed Harsh. my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. I guess we're just going to leave liquid there. Right, and I pretty soon the animals are going to come. The polar bears and the caribou. But I was and wrong. they'll get their fill. I didn't find anything. This is the learn. canon ending, by the way, because in this ending, obviously, Meryl and Otacon survive. In the alternate ending, when you walk away with Otacon into the sunset, Meryl, she's just dead. So that's like the alternate ending, not the canon one. Look at all that white. What a background. We should have taken his gun. He went out... Yeah, let's let's face it. Liquid was a pretty fucking amazing villain. He was he was like the hero but evil. Snake, you know, like a, a mirror opposite. Whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. Choose life. And then live. Yes. Just Could you? Snake. I think you should tell me when Fox Die is going to kill me. To oh, thank you, me. good sir. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. I never found one, other than being a bodaciously hot, really smart scientist who survived getting my parents killed in a civil war. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for Ugh, Meryl, Naomi's still talking in my ear and I can't block her out, it's horrible. I totally believe one day, uh, instead of having iPhones and like smartphones, we'll actually have phones that are inside our heads and everything. Like in our bloodstream. And you'll just be able to have phone calls in your head, music play in your head. It wouldn't even need like a little device. You'll just have like an injection and it'll be like liquid form going around your bloodstream. I fully believe that'll happen one day. True meaning of life. That would be a good way to torture somebody. Just inject them with this stuff and then make them hear a song over and over and over again in their head. It would drive them nuts. Look, I found this. What? A blindfold. That'll come in handy later. Wait, what is that? A reminder of a successful mission? I think that's meant to be a bandana that you... She looks a bit chubby there, doesn't she? <laughs> she looks really chubby like she's got a gigantic double chin. Until today, I've lived only for myself. And after today, it's going to be the same thing. has been the only thing I cared about in my life. And I was really good at it. That's not just you. That's how everyone Meryl, I wasn't finished. If you'll let me finish. I truly alive when I was staring death in the face. Why does death get a capital D there? Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Meryl, that's ridiculous. They can't speak to me. Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone Wouldn't it be crazy if a bear came out of there and yeah. killed them both? And that's how it ends. Someone like you. Oh, well, no, no. Maybe that's the real way to live. Nah. I think we should go on crazy adventures instead. So, where to, Snake? David. To the future. My name's David. Back to the okay. future. So where to, Dave? It's David. And yes, his name, his real name, his first name at least, is David. And it's not meant to be named after David Hayter. It was just a lucky coincidence. Will we find it? We'll find it. We will. Stop asking so many questions. 
And they drive off in the uh, snowmobile and then go straight into the ice. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. They're fucked then, because there's no grass around here at all. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. Wow, Snake, you're sure feeling very happy and hopeful. But Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all... The caribou droppings. You. Oh, Snake, you chump. He is just working overtime to get into her pants. I think you are too, huh? Come on. Let's enjoy life. Brrr, oh, fox! Die! <laughs> uh, I would love it if he died. Like, he has fox die happen to him and he swerves out of control and crashes. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, just amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, they come to a cliff. Ah, fox die. In the 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. The total destruction of power amounted to one million times that of the Hiroshima A-bomb. In January 1993, Star 2 was signed and the United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of warheads to 3,000 to 3,500 in each nation by December. That's still a lot of warheads. However, as of 1998, there still exists 26,000 nuclear warheads. That's a lot of warheads. There's probably a lot more than that now, isn't there? And let the music begin. This song, I think it's a Celtic song and it's called The Best Is Yet To Come. And do trust me, the best is yet to come. It really, it really is a fantastic metaphorical song for the series. Because as good as this game is, and there is a lot of people that say it is the best game in the series, I'd say the sequels are even better. Gameplay-wise, there's no comparison. MGS 2, 3, 4, and onwards are so much better in terms of gameplay. But in terms of story, I think MGS 2 is better, 3 is better. Um, I would say that 4 has more epic moments. Um, I just think that this is not the best. The best definitely is yet to come. And yeah. Just a phenomenal game. And it's amazing how short it is. Even if you cut out those uh, backtracking parts, it's so short and yet it left such a massive impact on the entire industry. I mean, this is the game that sort of kickstarted the whole game is trying to emulate movies and emulate summer blockbusters. And most games haven't really been able to find that right balance of making good gameplay and good story, but Metal Gear Solid did it first and almost did it best. What the fuck is that polar bear doing? It was like right, grinding his crotch on the floor. Look guys, global warming! Oh no wait, that doesn't exist, right? And then you'll be watching this video in 20 years and Florida will be underwater. Ah fuck it, they deserve it. Oh, 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 I'm drowning! <laughs> So yes, uh, that was Metal Gear Solid 1. Phenomenal game. A game I will come back to many, many times. I just love it so much. I really wish there was a good remake though. I don't hate Twin Snakes, I don't. But I just have no desire to replay it. It's just, it's lacking something. I don't know what it is. It's not a bad game by any means. I just, I, it's not what I want from a remake. I want the exact same voices, not redone voices, just better graphics that's all i want that's all i want if kojima hadn't been fired from konami i think we would be getting remakes of metal gear solid one maybe even two and three just with better graphics but at this point i don't think it's gonna happen ever we'll probably just get uh the same games bundled in a like a collector's edition re-released which i'm happy with because if there's one thing i always need with every generation it's a metal gear fix so I'm hoping even when the PlayStation 5 comes out and beyond that we still have ways to play these fantastic old games because they're so brilliant, even today. I would choose to play this over something like Watch Dogs 2 or um, Horizon Zero Dawn in a second, in a heartbeat. Because Jimmy's name appears a lot, huh? He did so much for this. The best is yet to come. Written and produced by Rika Muranaka. Fantastic song, fantastic game. Perfectly, perfectly captures the whole spirit of the game. I love it. So there it is. My Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid 1. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I just enjoy doing these so much. I do. 
keeping a record for myself for the future, entertaining myself, hopefully trying to entertain other people. I love it so much. The crazy thing is though, Kojima at no point intended to make sequels. So this was only going to be like a one hit wonder. He had no ideas for Sons of Liberty, for Snake Eater, nothing. This was the end of Metal Gear as far as he was concerned. If there was going to be a sequel, he might be like, look over it, but he had no idea of where the story would go. Konami. Back when they were cool. Really cool. Now they're sellouts, focused on gyms and pachinko machines. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Okay, okay. Man, Kojima was really wanting to spread a hopeful message, wasn't he? The important thing is that you choose life. I do! I love life! I'll choose life over death every time. And you should too. It's a good message. What's this? Metal Gear? What's up now? Oh, Ocelot. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Oh. Yes, sir. Fox dies should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Huh? Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Ocelot, you sneaky fuck. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Oh, that's why he killed the DARPA chief. The inferior one was the winner after all. Oh my god, so you're telling me that Solid Snake. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Solid Snake was the one that was given all the inferior genes. Liquid was the superior one, but because he didn't believe in himself, he lost. What an idiot. The power of thought is really strong. No one that you were the third one, what should I do about the woman? Wait a minute. That was in this game? I didn't know that. Yes, sir. I'll really? Under surveillance. I didn't realize that. They yes. talk about Solidus in this Thank game? You. Goodbye. Mr. President. Mr. President. So, think about that for a second for a moment. Solidus Snake, also known as George Sears, is President of the United States of America. How the fuck does Solid Snake not notice this? They're all clones, right? Solid, liquid, solid. How does Solid Snake not look at the president and go, huh, you know, he looks a little familiar to me. I know he's living in Alaska, but Alaska isn't the end of the fucking world. I mean, Alaska is part of the USA. He would still see, unless he didn't have a TV, but still, 10 hours? Really? Saved eight times, continued 30 times. Well, I died 30 times, really. Okay, I was only found 17 times. That's not bad. I killed 132 people. Holy hell. 63 rations used. And my code name is Leopard. And I got the bandana. That's the special item. If you save Otacon, I think you get his stealth camouflage to use in the next playthrough. The bandana gives you infinite ammo. Fantastic. Once more, thank you for watching. Take care.